Hey everybody, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today, you have all three. Me, the Margarita Kid, my beautiful daughter Lily, and we are drinking Crackberries. On to the music. So normally I'm the one who gets to pick what we're going to be reacting to, but tonight Lily insisted that I listen to I Want to Be a Child Star from the TV show Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which is kind of a musical TV show. Uh, that Lily has watched, I don't know, a hundred times or something. Yeah, it's we just my got, favorite. We just got done reacting to an Angelina uh, Jordan video, and so she decided she wanted me to see this, you know, with the whole child star thing. And so I have no idea what's going to go on in the song, uh, but hopefully it's good and funny, <laughs> which is, I think, what it's supposed to be, but I don't know that it always is. You've never watched Crazy Age Girlfriend. I don't want to hear your opinion. <laughs> It's very good, by the way. All four seasons are on Netflix. <laughs> Were you paid to say that? <laughs> okay. You sounded like it. I just hope Rachel Bloom will notice me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello there. And you are? My name is Tucker Bunch. I hail from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I'm here for one thing only. Hit it! <laughs> Every night I lie awake Dreaming of my big break I just gotta act and dance and sing Cause I only ever wanted one thing I wanna be a preteen Hollywood train wreck <laughs> A cautionary tale I want the kind of fame that'll warp my brain And eventually land me in jail I wanna see my parents for <laughs> So, a couple things, real quick Number one, um uh, this show does, from the few songs that I've heard from it, tend to make fun of things in a very real way. Yes. Right? Kind of a comical, more like a satire, but more oh, of a, definitely. More of a comedy. Than, like a lot of times satire is kind of dry, sarcastic kind of things. This is more upbeat comedy stuff. It's very camp. Yes, very camp. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Um, but then as soon as he has this line, I want to sue my parents for emancipation. I don't remember that happening at the time this show came out maybe it did but uh, it became this more is from popular season three and that came out in uh 2018 i think 2018 okay yes. maybe it did i remember seeing that in the news and some people are kind of well emancipation's not so bad i guess but i remember seeing somebody was suing their parents for birthing them without permission <laughs> i don't get that kind of stuff but yeah it's because that's a thing with child stars because their parents use them for money and they're like i'm the one who made the money oh yeah I think that's what that's talking about. I much. try to do that with you guys, but eventually land me in jail. I wanna sue my parents for emancipation. After they get caught stealing from me. I wanna be on the set of the walking dead when I lose my virginity. I wanna be a child. Is that a reference to something? Probably. I've never watched The Walking Dead and not up to date on that lore and drama. I, um, it I, seems a bit specific to not be a reference. Right. I saw the first few seasons, and I know there was the guy's son that was, you know, on the show, like the main guy had a son. Uh, but I don't remember there being anything in the news about, like, weird stuff going on on set or anything. Yeah. Or maybe they're referencing a different show and they're just using The Walking Dead because uh, it rhymes or something. Could be. <laughs> Although I don't know that Walking Dead rhymed with anything here. Yeah, I need to do some Googling later. Teenage Hollywood meltdown. Be a pop culture. 
I just love how the choreography matches with the story they're telling in the song, you know? Like, they're all on the ground because he just woke up and they're sleeping. Wow, I missed that. I, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. I just love the show so much. Like, oh my gosh. And there's another one. I, I'll, I'll tell you later. Yeah, no, that's another video. <laughs> But it, it is interesting. I feel like lately, and I don't know if this is because there's been such a plethora of these kind of tales that have happened, right? You know, going sometimes it was actors, sometimes it was musicians, but it never seemed to go well when kids got involved in you know media. But then I feel like you know the Angelina Jordan thing, uh, the three sisters from The Warning, uh, and there's been other ones that I've seen as well where it seems like. Parents are being much more careful about it. Yeah. Because it seemed like in the old days they'd either just ignore them and let them go off and just be around a lot of bad influences or they would be overbearing because they wanted all the money and the control. Mm -hmm. And so now it seems like parents have found kind of a a good middle ground. It's really interesting because, like, you know, the first A Star is Born came out in the 1930s, right? right? Yeah. So Hollywood was making films about how toxic Hollywood was, like, as soon as Hollywood became a thing. So it's taken us almost 100 years as a society to start being like, "Mm, maybe we shouldn't, like, exploit our children. It's wild. I think, as a society, most people thought that. Not in L.A., though. It's just the people that have the kids. (laughs) Well, I mean, there's a lot of people who, you know, their intentions are good, right up until they have the opportunity to make $100 million, and then all of a sudden things get a little looser, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, this is what you're saying, waking up in bent eyes with the <laughs> sketchy guy. Okay. I wasn't being sarcastic before I didn't catch the sleeping reference. Yeah. And he said, I want to wake up in bent eyes with the... That's where Uncle Dave used to live, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Shout wake, out to Uncle Wake Dave. up with the sketchy guys. <laughs> and that's what he did. Okay. You guys? Child star. Can I have some more money? <laughs> oh, baby. I've hit rock bottom. I can't live like this. It's time to get my act together. Refocus on my passion. I want to be a desperate Hollywood has been. A classic, where are they now? I hope he talks about going to rehab to get his career going back on track. Well, we only have 30 seconds left, so I think your wish might not be granted. A lot can happen in 30 <laughs> seconds. Desperate Hollywood has been. A classic, where are they now? I'll try to clean up my act and get my agent back. And salvage my reputation somehow. I'll do a lot of community service. And apologize to my <laughs> This is the final season that actually came out in 2019. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's pretty much like every other crazy ex girlfriend, except usually they're sung by the crazy ex girlfriend. There are a lot of songs sung by the side characters, like probably half of the songs. Then you just didn't show me them. That's because Rebecca Bunch's slap, played by the wonderful Rachel Bloom, is my favorite. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, anyway, you know, campy, fun. Raises some good points. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing that you know most sane people wouldn't have thought of already, but done in a very fun way. Yes. And actually, the kid was pretty good. Kid's great. Would it count as irony if that kid ended up as a junkie or something? Only if this song directly caused his childhood fame. Oh, I suppose it could be other things. Yeah, and, and then, it might just be a funny coincidence. Not everything is irony. That's true. That's yeah. like the like everything in. Uh, what's her face? Alanis Morissette's yeah. irony. None of it was actually, or ironic. Nothing it was. Nothing in that song was ironic. It was just bad coincidences. Yeah. If it There's... rains on your wedding day, that's not ironic. It's just bad fortune. They literally have an extended scene talking about this in my favorite film of all time, uh, Straight Up. It's like, you know what's really ironic? Are you going to Alanis Morissette with your gay boyfriend? It's really funny. Well, apparently they made fun of that. So there's a Jagged Little Pill musical... And in that musical, right, that's that Alanis Morissette album that had that song. And in that musical, they made fun of that. And I guess that song was in, like, an English class. And they're talking about irony, and, and they start, all the kids are singing these things, the, the song, right? Isn't it ironic that blah, blah, blah. And the teacher's going, but that's, that's not irony. Yeah. And he keeps, like, trying to, like, 
explain that what they're saying isn't irony. Yeah, um, it's it's not ironic to have rain on your wedding day, but it is ironic to have rain on your wedding day if you're marrying a meteorologist named Sunny Weathers who set the date. Uh, yeah, that would be. <laughs> That's what they say straight up. My favorite film of all time. I'm really sorry that that's her favorite film of all time. <laughs> I've raised her better than that. She was like a movie major in college for a while. Are you still? No, no I'm a psych not. major you're now. Psych major now, yeah. I want to have a real job. Because your favorite film was straight up, so they kicked you out? No, that was post uh, dropping. Post Switching dropping. majors. Uh, no one kicked well, Clearly, me out. there was a, a crash after that happened. That's really good. <laughs> I, should, I should force you to watch it. Yeah, like this. In any case, <laughs> we're done. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, appreciate your time, appreciate your comments, and we hope to see you again on the next one.